Oh, just that bruise sound. Oh man, this is some nostalgic power attack. The screen is weirdly uncentered here on the projection. That is very strange, but okay. I mean, if you know what I'm playing, you know what's being said up here. Well, I mean, by now you know. That's right, it is time for me to play a game called Banjo-Kazooie. Hey there, everyone, this is Aokao. Oh man, the nostalgia. So, uh, a bit of a reversal from Pikmin. This is a game that I must have beaten like fully 100% like 20 times in my childhood. Oh, this is just like, just feeling so good. But, um... I also haven't played a game like in 20 years, so I know I wonder what I remember, what I less remember. How's that gonna play? Mambo's cheating. He has the whole orchestra. Well, everyone just has their namesake. A mambo is not an instrument, but I guess that. Well, that's barely a kazoo, though. Like it's more like a trumpet. Yeah, that little bug doesn't play an instrument. That's crawling on around. It's a game by Rare. It's like the king of collectathons. It's just super very good. So, ba -ba 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 that's the tile screen. That's what it looks like. And you press a button, and then it shatters away in a cavalcade of puzzle pieces. So, I did turn this on recently. I just needed to make sure that, you know, the game worked. It does. Um. So what file am I gonna choose? Doesn't matter! Taking the soup one. That's right, fish, spin around. So, the game starts with a pretty long cutscene. Like, today we're basically gonna be doing the cutscene and, um... Maybe swerve on to, like, the tutorial area. Do not expect a whole lot of excitement, but consider this a build-up. Going up these stairs, just poison everywhere. That door's like, check it out, I'm kind of like a pig, because I got a mouthful of ring. Ding po- oh, I hope you guys like rhyming. <laughs> yeah, that's right, your noise makes a squeaky sound. I meant your nose, but I was th oh, that's gross. Alright, look at that, green flame everywhere. Big fan of green. This witch called Gruntilda. Oh, by the way, so... Okay, so, I just said uh, I know this game, I cannot really be spoiled about this game, but still, I request that everywhere where comments can be left, try to stick to things I've been seeing in video. Like, I'm going with the assumption that there's at least gonna be like, two or three people watching that have never seen this game before. And it'd be cool if, you know, they got the surprises when they should be. So, anyways, the story's a remake of... What's the show? Cinderella? Where the witch gets mad, Maleficent gets mad that, yeah, that the lady's prettier than her. But here's 2D running in the fields of wheat. Very, very well cut. I mean, the switch and the bear are just neighbors. I'm guessing before this whole thing that's happening here, they were just neighbors and kind of really didn't get in each other's way. Don't worry about it. That's the mole! His name is Bottles, which I think is a big, cool name for a mole. I said big because she just said big lazy brother. And I read a word and that affected the way that my sentence gets formed in my head. That's Banjo! He has Z's and Z's coming out of his mouth. Kazoo is the bird! They're excited to go and do things. But they're scientifically grafted to that knapsack. So, you know, that's gonna happen. This little, like, framiness, I remember this from the console experience. Game just chugs at this point. This game, pretty rough on the old N64. Like, they are pushing it. And I mean, and it's nothing compared to Tui, the sequel. You can tell because there's two in the Ui. Anyways, that witch is living her best life, just laughing all the time, taking the time to speak in rhymes. 
This bear just sleeping. That bird very upset. Does not like being stuck in a knapsack. Not a fan. The knapsack looks closed and the bird is still sticking out. I don't that could be an emulation. I don't know. I do not know. But man, that bear does look comfy. He barely fits in that bed though. Like if he ever like rolls or something, he's gonna fall right out. That's the voice they gave Banjo! He's like goofy. Except he will maul you if there's tasty looking stuff in your trash. Yeah, look at that, just that laughing. Always and incessant. Just having a great time. Check it out. It's Badger Kazooie! Right! Before the tutorial, you can your this is your jump. Alright, you gotta learn how to modulate jumps. Now, there's a cool thing this game does where it does let you skip the tutorials. But we're not. We're gonna do it. Because we're experiencing video games. It's bottles! They never met? That's not true. They're presenting each other for the sake of the player, probably. Wow, pretty rude there. Yeah, so that sound Kazooie makes, get used to that. Actually gets used to all of these sounds if you can help it. Well, that's just rude. You're just being judgy here. Grabbed her. That is accurate. But then you call him geeky because of the glasses? That's pretty rude. For a mountain lair. That's just that's just right beside your house. That implies here that you've never noticed it before. Don't worry. Press A. You want me to teach you some basic moves? Yes! Please, rotund, gigantic mole. Well, maybe Banjo's a tiny bear. I'm not sure, honestly. Alright, so explore this area. See, you got this big old, like, super zone to explain, to explain, to explore. Yeah, so you go next to the molehill and you press a button like this, you go like, whoosh, find another molehill to die. Got it. And I can do nothing, right? I can, well, I can go in this, you can do that, so camera, it's pretty fun. You can move the thing, I can move it the other way, isn't that insane? Oh, you can duck, whoosh, there you go. Those are the basic control. Oh, you jump so little. All right, molehill, give me information about the internet. Super highway. Yes, it's bottles the mole. Let's start with camera. All right, on the yellow button. In case you couldn't figure that one out. Try this then. Ooh, beaky. That's just harsh. Yeah, I did that. Also. Man, they're just very rude to each other, though. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'll see you at the next molehill. Sounds great. So you can do that. You can do that. You can do that if you want. And you can zoom out and you can zoom closer, I guess. Alright, this is what we're doing. I'm gonna go on top of this here hill. Then the camera's gonna take over. I'm gonna talk to this guy! Alright, teach me about the universe, Bottles! It's time for you to learn the claw swipe! Uh, I'm gonna swipe my claw. This bear, how did you survive all this time? Don't worry about it. Uh-huh, let's move slowly. Can I try it on, on, on? Uh, how about, well... Wow, is, they're not losing any time establishing the hostilities between many of the characters involved in this game. It's a carrot! Now that's what I call a challenge. Uh, all right, we're gonna whack him though. All right, so you go whoosh. But if you're running, it's not gonna work. You gotta be just like, going, uh, I'm gonna hit you. I did it. Yeah, I killed this carrot. Ooh, slow walking. Here we go. Try another. Well, too bad, Kazooie. Gonna wait for Tatooie to do that. All right, eh. He does walk forward while he's swiping madly. Spoilers! You barely use this move ever. <laughs> See, now we're gonna learn. Uh, Roll by running. See, so if you press the swipe attack, but you're running, and then you fight ball, it's an onion! Yeah, roll that onion! 
Bottle, uh, help? Okay, there we go. Bottle has all these friends that he's completely willing to let his friend absolutely maim them. And by friend, I mean they just met. Like, they just introduced one another earlier. Yeah, you're dead now, buddy! It's time for the buzzard to learn the trick. Alright, here we go. Let's get serious about our violence. Uh, the rat attack rap. Alright, so now we're gonna start rapping at our enemies. Here's Collywobble, the flying that thing. What's it called? A uh, thing. Uh, it's a flower in French. I forgot what that is in English. It's cabbage flower if you translate that. Oh, what's that? It's a big old hexagon. All of the basics attack. Uh, see you around. I'm gonna eat this hexagon. That's right, filling up that bullet roster. Oh, it's extra honeycomb piece. Oh, I see. Now there's enemies! Uh, ridiculous. So, that's a health. Yeah, everything's alive and it's super weird. Oh, you can't swim yet. Okay. Right, gonna find that mole hill. But the place I'm at is the place where rocks grew eyes. Yeah, look at my sweet clip though. Mole to mole. Need the help of old chicken legs. You cannot judge the chickens of a leg. Please hold the duck button and press B to do a duck attack. It looks like this. It's pretty cool, Rad. Uh, she's super useful. She's my friend. There we go. Destroy these rocks. Birds are supposed to be pretty brittle, but not this one. There we go. All right, we did it. We've mastered the art of barging a beak. Finally. I can't pretend to be a boat running in this field. Oh, the music relapsed, restarted. Hey, it's Bottles, the mole. Hope you're not afraid of heights. He. Ah, that's kind of funny. I wonder if this game that half features a bird will feature flight at some point. I don't know. Alright, so you find something you can climb, you just kind of shove yourself into it, and then you can climb. Uh, whoa. So many things to find that can wound. Then I fell in the water like an idiot. That also can be climbed. You cannot climb water. Alright, I think I'm just gonna get dumped the waterfall, huh? I'm getting these in a weird order, I'm feeling. Hey, there's the bridge. Do you know what a bridge is? You need to learn the ability to walk on a bridge before it's midnight. That is not true. I just made that part up. I'm, I'm sorry for anyone who was looking forward to that. Oh, this is probably where we're gonna learn jumping moves. You get out of here, carrot. No one got time for you. All right, let's get, this is a platform game. Time to platform, mate. Here we go. Hmm, your jump could do with some help. All right, so what do you propose? Also, good point. Uh, press A and jump, hold it to jump more. See, now I can jump more. Yeah, good. I jump more. All right, but now we can involve a bird in my ability to escape gravity, if for short moments. That's right. Well, it's not really a double jump. It's like a jump extension. All right, ready to rumble, but that's not all. Yeah, this is the secret move. Uh huh. Stand like this. <laughs> I feel. <laughs> I feel like the I'm flappity jump. That sounds pretty rad. Here we go. Look at that. Now we're real Mario Brothers. All the jumps. All right. Finally beat all the jumps. There we go on the grass and vines. There we go. Did it. So you know this implies there's like those amounts of things to find. I'm good at English. Well, um, I don't know where they are. Why? Well, I kind of know where they are. What do you want, Molehill Johnny? Or oh, you gotta teach me how to swim. To swim underwater, it's going to be necessary. Yeah, that's true. In your shorts. Like, are they water resistant in some way? Okay, well, she wants to swim. 
We're gonna go to a but we can see the un the behind his eyes of that mole, and that's kind of gross. All right, let's go swim. Swimming actually feels pretty all right in this game. Meet me at the top. All right, we'll do that later soon. Okay. Stupid mole telling me what to do all the time. Look at that, the whoosh. Like, the swimming controls are genuinely pretty good. But I can't get a camera to go behind me. And then you got two different kinds of swim. You got, like, swim fast. Like that, but it's kind of, like, in pieces. But if you press A instead, the jump button, you get, like, a more controlled swim. It's super smart. It is honestly some of the best 3D swimming. I think I've ever encountered? I don't know. I'm looking for something. There's something hidden here somewhere. There we go. Right here. Can you believe it? Someone left a perfectly good honeycomb. Alright. Alright, uh, there's a tree we gotta go in for a honeycomb. You know, when we learn how to be big. But, you know, you need to also know how to flip a roo like that before you can really do anything about it, which is why I wasn't stressing it. Now I don't know what tree it is. Look at that, you can roll jump, and I don't know if that does anything for you. But you can! Alright, see? I'm pretty sure you see the thing when you go on top. You can hover and stuff. Don't worry about it, it's just thing we're making up. Yeah, look at that! Very subtle! Yeah, that's right! I'm pretty sure there's something behind that water. There's like a platforming challenge here. Protected by this carrot. But it doesn't give you like a good, the useful thing, but it's there. So let's see if we've mastered the art of platforming in three dimensional. See? Three. Oh no, there is a thing here. Well, alright! That's right! My revolver is full! There's a trophy behind it. This game has a life system for some reason. I don't understand why. It's not a good system. This is like one of two major faults of this game. But, I mean, if you do this right, we shouldn't die, right? That's the hope. Uh, Alright, and you know, I've implicitly unlocked the walk across this bridge ability. Whoosh! Look at that, see? Alright, who's ready from a world famous stethoscope? By which I meant cameo. From stage from Smash Brothers. That's right, this is Spiral Mound. It's a lot smaller than Smash, this mountaintop. It's a lot more rocky, too. Tackle the witch. That is untrue, but we got the basics. Show us a very, very linear path here. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, the bridge was broken if we had went up here before. He's a good craftsmanship. Alright, let's, like, kind of get the ship rolling, though. Let's go in. Okay, oh, the music changed. It's very subtle. Alright, right inside that witchy gullet. It's kind of gross, honestly. I don't like it. Cutscene, you can't... Wouldn't you make your little construction here, like, big enough for you to be able to stand in it? <laughs> well, make me young and tooty old! Alright! Uh, no one else is jumping in and to her rhyming thing. Rescue you! He went out there! Like, considering she can speak at a, like, at the rhythm of a normal conversation, like, in terms of responding to people, like, she's probably, like, super smart. Just, like, fit everything to her rhyming scheme. Anyways, here we see the villain, like, actually doing their villainy thing, <laughs> not just sitting in an empty room all game. Like, that's pretty neat. Alright, I don't know how long that takes. Oh my god, but you know I'm here because you're witchy magic! Trip uh, some traps, we'll see what we got out of here. Giant picture of a witch. Alright, well, we've got Teddy Bear's Picnic as background music. Don't worry about it, it's okay. Now we're here. How do we end up here, though? I don't know. Well, there's a picture here, but it's missing something. Hmm. I sure did uh, stand. But I don't have a jigsaw to do anything about it. What am I supposed to do about that? I'm gonna roll up this wall by accident. How about that? Uh, but look at that. I went out of that room, and then the camera's like, oh, look at that. There's a shiny gold thing up there. I wonder what that could be. Yeah, that's right. Listen to this music piece gonna we're gonna hear it a lot it's mr jiggy 
I can go and find a, okay, yeah, a jigsaw piece. What it desires most is being part of the full jigsaw. There we go, that jingle. You're gonna hear it. All right, now I'm gonna do sweep flips on the ground. Get all dusty, dusty bear. Look at these patterns and carved in the wall. It's like a toothy pumpkin. Don't worry about it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna go wrong, 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 wrong sound effect to enter the world shown on the pick. Oh, this feels like an allusion to a certain video game, but I can't tell what it is. All right, got first dig, so probably Jet Force Gemini. That, that game probably didn't exist yet. I'm missing space on a picture. Press A. Okay. Well, so I can opt not to put a picture in and stall here, I guess. That's your thing. We did it! That's it! Look at that. But yeah, you don't go in, in the picture, though. That would be ridiculous. To go inside a painting? What the heck? No, it's just a painting, and it says Mumbo Mountain on it. Mumbo's Mountain. And, uh, but look at that. There you go. Here, there's a wild garden. It's like, ooh, level. If you press start, you got these menus. You got notes and eggs and feathers and feathers and and pizza pockets, and a big old smiley head, and you can save and quit, and you can view totals. You can also game return. Are you, whoa. Look how everything gets pixely. Well, that is so cool. Like, it, it's not as marked on the CRT television. Oh, but I love the effect though. It's kind of neat, I don't know. I'm just gonna press pause a whole lot here 50 times, but I can do that off camera.